Okay, here we go. We're going to make be making some coffee with the Bellman. This is the electric Bellman, and there's several other names for them, but they're all basically a CX25 coffee maker. And this is a Bellman. This is the electric type, which is one of my favorite ones. And we're going to go ahead and make coffee with it. First thing is you add the water. And there's some little lines in here that you'll see that you fill the water up to. And you just look and make sure it's past the steam. Past the steam valve. So that's a very simple part. Now you can make different amounts of coffee. I always make the nine cup the full amount. But there's a little adapter. You can make a small amount or like three cup amount. But I always make the big amount every time. That's just the way we do it. And what I do is I just put my finger over that, my thumb, so that the coffee doesn't go through and fill it up. Kind of spinning, whatever technique you get is really what works, but this is how you do it. And I get a lot, kind of pack it around. You don't really need to tamp it a huge amount. But that's what I do. And it simply slides on. The top valve here, this is, releases the coffee. And that just slips right on. And then down goes the nut. Tighten that down and you're all set. You have this lined up. Now a lot of them have a nice little pot that come with them that if you get the right one that has the original pot, which I have several of them. I actually like my little metal cup better. So that's what I use. Flip it on. This is your steam valve. You leave that shut. You open your coffee valve and then the water will heat up and once some coffee comes dripping out there, we'll do the next step. Okay, after, it usually takes about four or five minutes and you start seeing your coffee come out. And you can just let that complete. But you can also, which isn't necessarily exactly in the instructions, you can also turn this off just for a couple. And you can set your timer for about two minutes. And it'll build up some extra pressure and come out. And, that's, and that goes on. But you can just make it the regular way into your pot and um, open your valve and you can see it will push nice espresso on out and filling it up. Now these, this, the pan here does heat up underneath but it's not meant to keep the coffee warm like a regular drip maker. But there we go. That would be making your coffee takes not not more than five minutes or so, but very quick. Actually, the whole process is only about five or six minutes, and we will have a lovely. Now, this in a moment, as the makes the coffee will start to spurt, and that will be when you're getting finished with your coffee. You have your two lights here, which is on. Um, <clears throat> you can wait till this light goes off before you steam milk, but as, as in the instructions. But usually, you can start steaming milk even when this light's on when the coffee's done. I like a nice big steam of milk. They say half full, but I go a little more than half full, and I like the temperature gauge. I like to go about oh, 110 to 120 on my steam milk, but everyone has a little preference there in the steam milk. That's the beauty of this machine is you get a steam milk the regular way, and it's so much fun. And they have stovetop ones you can take camping, but that will be another show, and I think other people have done those before. We're getting close here with their coffee, and you're going to see in just a moment we will hit the top, and it'll do a little bit of crema. If you, you know, turn it off for two or three minutes, you'll get a little more, but I'm not that picky about that as some people may be. So you start to get the sputtering, and you can go that a little bit, and you'll get more crema on top if you want. And so, and there you go. And then you can make, you know, give it a little more and that will make crema for you. But that's pretty good. I'm not that picky. I don't usually wait till that goes off. I just begin steaming. Everybody has their own little trick to steaming. I kind of get it and get it fluffing. 
I'm spinning and uh, it'll and then I finally heat it'll heat up to about 120. I just turn the steamer on all the way and it's not super exciting but it's fun to do and you know it takes a couple of practices. Uh, my first couple times I didn't get the steaming quite right, but after you do it a couple times you get your technique. I kind of blow some air in and um, it works on a pressure basis because it heats up in here with the coil and as it builds up pressure in here it comes out as coffee or steam. So and this is this safety relief valve. But you still want to be careful with these. Uh, more of a hands-on machine. If you're someone that just likes to get up and push the button on the drip coffee maker and can't really think about it, has an auto shut off, uh, this isn't that type. you got to be a little more hands-on. And we just keep... Uh, you see our temperature gauge is slowly rising. And I just I kind of get a spinning. I kind of put mine to the side, but everyone has a little technique. And the milk will fluff up. And then as I get it near the top, I put it down more. I kind of then I just I even put it down there a little deeper and just bring us up to our temperature about a hundred. So we just have a little bit more to go. and we will be all set. Nice and fun. You can make a bunch of coffees with this. It's fun to do. These I think were made mainly in the 70s, but I didn't really have a date. But I really like these coffee makers. So once I get to about 110, I just shut the valve off, turn off the power, and we're all set. And then you have a nice picture of espresso and a nice picture of cream and you can make different you can make if you have these little cups you can make a bunch of these if you have some people over and then the next size is kind of my favorite I like this size you can make some and you can go on up bigger and bigger in the morning we make two giant mugs or three and you can see you get plenty of coffee very easy you can just top it off If you have one of these sets, then you're big. And you can have a bunch of people over and all kinds of coffee. So there we have it. And that's how you do the CX-25. And you're all set. Now you let this cool down. I unplug it. And then once it's cool, you can open it. Just leave it shut. And once it cools down, then you can just disassemble it and rinse the parts off. And then the tank will have some water left over, maybe even coffee down here. And so you, you don't submerge it, you just dump that back into a sink and rinse it out and then you refill it with the amount that you would like to do. And so that's it, that's the Bellman, the CX-25, it has a, several other names that is under, but they're all very similar. Um, some of these I haven't tested yet, but that's how you do it. Thanks very much and have a good afternoon and sit down and have some coffee.